Hey, welcome back everyone to some more Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. Now it's time to take a return trip to Sector 5. And I just realized, I'm over halfway done with this game already, or at the very least, at the halfway point of this game, so... Pretty much the rest of the game is just going back to sectors and that, and completing a few tasks, and before we know it, Samus will be strong enough to take on the SAX. But first things first here, just gotta clear this place of enemies and get this missile pack here. And like before, they will respond if you don't grab the X's right away. <laughs> I like that animation there with a the fake block when you get that missile tank. Always seems to amuse me for some reason. Not even dealing with him. Not even dealing with them. <laughs> if I don't have to deal with anything here, I won't. And a good thing with this wide beam is that now I don't have to do that jump and aim thing. It just automatically hits the enemy because of how wide the beam is now. And it packs quite a wall up too. It's not like the plasma beam or the wave beam, but it'll do for now. But yeah, it shouldn't take me any more than like five minutes to get in here because all I pretty much need to do here is just go to the data room and get a few... Get the power bomb upgrade and collect a few power bomb packs, and that will pretty much be it. Just gotta go. Okay, get rid of these things. Just gotta do the speed booster. Oh wait, what am I doing? I need to go to the data room. <laughs> I was ready to do the same thing over again than I just did the first time I was here. Oh my gosh. I was, already, I was in the middle of doing that speed booster and then it hit me. Wait a minute. Yeah, sorry guys. I don't know what I'm thinking here, but... As you can see, I got the power bomb data, which is pretty much the same exact power bomb that we got to see the SAX demonstrate the first time we saw it. Okay, oh, oh, really? <laughs> I hit every single one of them. <laughs> okay, now we notice that the Zebatite isn't here, so we just gotta do a power bomb here. I love that animation, too. Okay, now we gotta book it, because here's the SAX room, and... Of course, this weird, ominous music here. Ah, oh, this thing always creeps me out. <laughs> okay, wait till it goes. What's that SAX? You didn't hear anything. You didn't hear me escaping. No, not at all. No, let me just escape or I avoid you. <laughs> okay. Those purple enemies can be tough, but a few missiles should suffice. And as you can see there, I got a green... Or should I say a red X, rather, and replenished pretty much everything I had there. The, we the one weird thing about this game is that... You really don't need a whole heck of a lot of power bombs unless you're going for 100%. Like, if you have more than, like, 20 power bombs in your inventory, it becomes rather redundant in a way because you really don't need that many. But, at having said that, it is good to just to have that, especially if you're going for 100%, so... As you can see, I get another power bomb tank. Okay, just gotta go the way we... Surprise, I actually got up there as easily as what I did. Those, uh, floating enemies tend to give me a hard time. Now it's just a matter of just going back the way I came, and it's just gonna be very similar to the first time I was here in Sector 5. Of course, watching out for these enemies not while not falling through the fake blocks here. Shouldn't be too bad once you get a hang of it, and it certainly helps that I have the wave beam now, which before I didn't. Oh, I love this thing. I just can't wait till I get the plasma beam. 
I might as well save here, why not? Shouldn't be too much longer here, there's really one more thing that I want to see if I can get. Okay, you notice this thing, but good thing is now that we have a power bomb. What? <laughs> and there's another red X too, how awesome is that? Yeah, red X is pretty much replenish everything. It, well, nearly everything. It's the same as if you would de defeat a core X. Same principle as that. Okay. Now, there's actually something in here I want to get. Hopefully it doesn't give me too... Not so much that one, but this one. It's actually a power bomb tank over here. Okay. Ah, uh, this is gonna be close. Oh, oh, come on, come on. There we go. And there's a power bomb. Oh, no, no. Oh, there we go. Yes! Oh, I thought that was gonna give me trouble, but... Oh, this is going well so far. As a matter of fact, so far, well, I'm already pretty much done with this sector already, so... Now it's just a matter of going back to the navigation room and find out what Adam has to tell us. Hello there again, creepy shadow. <laughs> And we'll find out exactly where that is the next time we head here, which... Yep, we do have to come here Sector 5 one more time, but that won't be for a little while yet. Which I'm really not looking forward to it. <laughs> but we're gonna have to get to it sooner or later. Just gonna get up here. Hopefully I don't get hit. Now that uncovered region, I'm gonna need the space jump in order to get up there, and that's pretty much the start of our third trip through Sector 5, but since we don't have space jump right now, we're gonna have to skip it for now. Okay... Oh, come on, Samus! What is she... Oh, great! Okay... Just gotta get you... Come on, come on, come on, just gotta get you. Thank you! Okay, that was a little bit messy, but just got to recharge here. Not a whole lot to recharge. Got 16 power bombs and 165 missiles. Just got to save my progress here. I was going to end my video here, but I figured I'd just do a little bit more before I finish things off, so... But first we find out what Adam has to tell us here. Oh, that sounds urgent. Okay. I haven't seen my ship since the beginning of the game. Hey, it didn't even ask me if my objective was clear. Maybe I wasn't clear about that. <laughs> okay, we just gotta go up to my ship. Okay. I figures we have to take the elevator up because that's where we went to begin with to start the game, so... Just gotta take this elevator uh, right up. Just gotta head towards my ship here. What the heck? Oh, great. Okay, now we're in a different part of the main deck here, and... These things can be irritating, so... Use the power bomb here. And once I get crouched like that, then... Okay. <laughs> well, hello there again, Ridley. Aw, oh, crap. Yep, it's pretty much gone now. It's probably hiding somewhere. <laughs> the inevitable boss battle, but we won't get to see him for a good while. But like I was going to say before, those enemies right there, it's best just to use the power bomb because most of the time they crouch, uh, crouch down and whenever they do that, they're pretty much invincible, so there's really nothing you can do unless blow them up. Which, I don't know why I just didn't use the power bomb here again, but at least another power bomb tank at least. 
But yeah, this section of the game right here actually gives you more than enough power tank bombs that you're gonna need throughout this game, but... If you want 100%, then you might as well grab everything. And those enemies are just downright creepy. <laughs> they, they look a, a little bit like the Xenomorphs on the Aliens a little bit. Oh! How did... Oh good, they didn't infect as much. I was gonna say, that thing stopped me from doing a speed booster. I wasn't gonna be too happy. We get another missile tank. Okay, just gonna go up here. And we're back at the docking bays in just a short trip and we'll be off to the gunship again. And find out what the computer has to tell us. As soon as I get to the ship and I find out exactly what Adam needs to tell me this important information, then I'm gonna end this video. But first, we get a save prompt here. Which might as well. Well, that can't be good. Oh, okay. <laughs> you think? Well, it's a very good thing I have the power bombs now, isn't it? <laughs> Just a wild guess, but I'm thinking that the X has a big thing to do with it. Okay. Hey, they're not strange, they're pretty cool. And those other coons are pretty darn cute too. <laughs> that one popping in front of the camera right there is being a ham, I love it. Quit calling them strange, and yes, I do know them. They helped me... They helped save my rear end in Super Metroid. They're pretty awesome. Yes, they were. Oh, <laughs> jeez, don't sound so disappointed. Hey, they're natural survivors, what can you say? <laughs> And knowing that, that's pretty much where I'm going to end this. So, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.